No, oh. no! <laughs> Spanx <laughs> Sorry, okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you want to say it? Yeah, no, you say no, it. You no, say no, it, you I say it. Just, I want I, you to say no, it. You <laughs> can say it. Okay. Hi, I'm Desiree Birch. And I'm Joe Thomas. And we star in the audio drama Algorithms. And this is our Audible 8. Yes! <laughs> okay, so we're about to get deep. What's something that cheers you up no matter what? Well, I think, you know, the honest answer is, if only it were that. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, I'll just do the thing that cheers me up no matter Immediately. what. Immediately. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that thing. <laughs> so what's the thing that cheers you up the most? I guess, you know, thinking things through cheers me up. <laughs> Just being allowed to kind of just think things through. Uh huh. Yeah. It's just, if it's anyone's a got a better answer, then you know, please share it with everyone share immediately. It with everyone, share it with everyone for free. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Please don't. Yeah. Don't charge for it. Don't make a ten-step system. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Describe algorithms in ten words or less. I'm going to start with unflinching. I'm going to say. Warm. I don't want to say courageous because it sounds like you're so brave, but like, what's the, and I also don't want to say ballsy because it's quite gendered, but then I wanted to say chutzpah, but chutzpah is a thing that you have and not a thing that you do. Um, what is the other word for that? Um, you know, ballsy, but like well, um, was, androgynously I was, I was ballsy. Say, I was going to say spunk, but that's not exactly less <laughs> It's a bit of a dry one, but um, I think it's quite well structured. Yeah. Yeah, as it a, is. As a drama. Also inclusive. In inclusive. a like great way, not Absolutely. in a like you did your due diligence. Funny? Yes, very yeah. funny, very, very funny. funny. All right, cool. Okay, we've got it. Yeah, we totally knocked that one out of the park and into an yeah. electric fence. <laughs> 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 what is the best prank you've ever pulled on someone? This is hard as well. You don't I, strike I'm, me as a prankster. I'm not a prank, so I get pranks pulled on me. What? You're looking for somebody to prank. <laughs> no one on the internet does pranks. Right? No. There's no pranks on the internet. There are no malicious people on there's the internet no, whatsoever. No, yeah, there's all good actors. Uh -huh. I did do a prank at school and my friend said, I'll, I'll make it look like you've been kidnapped. Uh, and so he put me in the boot of his car. <laughs> That's and then actual dropped me kidnapping. off outside my house <laughs> and threw me out on the <laughs> road and then sped away. <laughs> How did that, that a, feel? Like, are you? I felt vaguely thrilled. It okay. was quite nice. Okay, show us your favorite emoji with just your face. Oh, shoot. Just my face? Cause like my favorite one is this one. <laughs> but that requires a hand. <laughs> I think you're allowed the hand. <laughs> I, the, I, yeah, I think the hand's good. This, this one, this, yeah. I like, I look at like in my favorite emojis, like the top ones, that one's always there. <laughs> just about anything, it's just. <laughs> Oh, it's a good one. What does your character think of my character in Algorithms? Uh, scared. Yep. <laughs> I was like, there is a, a, a straightforward answer to that scared, question. Scared, <laughs> scared thereof. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if there's anything else to think. No. You've got, you know, no. a big tech boss. Like, You're she's the boss. gonna nom 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 nom. That makes you feel really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying that, thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> and you know, he's slightly kind of, um, sort of oleaginous as well, I think. Well, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He's slightly... Sort of oleaginous. Ole like, wait, 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 wait. Oily, oleaginous. That's... Good word, right? Wait a second, I've never heard that. I've heard of unctuous, which is slightly oily, yeah, but uh, oleaginous. Yeah, unctuous, uh, unctuous is in a good way to do... Really? Because it sounds terrible. Oh, no, unctuous, but I always hear that to do with food, like unctuous, like lovely uh, unctuous food. Like it's, okay. Oleaginous means somebody's a bit kind of snaky. Like greasy. He's got a slight snakiness to yeah, him. Yeah, like, okay. There's a slight... Oh, you know, but that's that's like you know, that's like no romance. More than, no more than many people have. Yeah, yeah. That's like for what? He's a man in his twenties. He's trying to kind of maybe grease a few palms, try and of course, of, yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, he's he's a, he's a little bit of a suck up. What's the best advice you've ever been given? I don't know, like, I, it's not exactly advice, but it's just all the people who were older than me when I was twenty when I was freaking out, who would go, you have time. Yeah, that's good. Like that was the best thing that anyone could tell me because obviously in the fullness of that time, like you live so much life that you go like, oh, like I might be upset that I didn't know this then, but there's no way I could have actually fully known this then. So just the yeah. people who were like, you have time. Yeah. Like just, I don't know, that was, that kept me going. Ooh. What's your favorite accent to do that is not your own? I quite like just doing a really sort of 
blimpy old plushy <laughs> bloke. But it's, blimpy. Basically, it's basically the Peter Cook, like, Arthur Street group. <laughs> I, I, I quite like, let's <laughs> really good out, so I have a word with them. <laughs> like... I haven't heard recently of anything of Squatter. <laughs> squatter for Dross. I mean, yeah, that's... Well, he, was in, he was in Bahrain. <laughs> oh, um, God. Which, um... I mean that's just a speak sketch, but yeah, I quite like the kind of the old the old blimpy. Yeah, that. it's kind of something I quite like to do. Who would you choose to narrate your life? Ooh, um, so many good answers to that, right? I mean, one immediately thinks of like you know Sir David Attenborough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just because yeah. then I could feel like a little furry animal, yeah. but also yeah. like I don't know, maybe just like Lizzo. <laughs> you know, because yeah. she's amazing yeah. and she would know so much about my life because we probably have a lot of shared experience and we have the same body and she could just pull it off and also make it sound super baller. So yeah, Lizzo. Lizzo, yeah. great answer. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You should go listen to Algorithms. It's really good. And that was our Audible 8. Is oh. anyone still watching this? <laughs> <laughs> it's really... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yep, no, and they left them in a closet to themselves for hours, okay. You can just put the advert over this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>